Okay, here we are, Sepang, Malaysia, on the run up towards the last corner. Open this corner up by taking a wide approach and maximizing the length of the straight and your speed onto it. DRS is open and a big curves boost as well, past the start finish line, the pits on your right hand side. Now eyes to the left, you want to look out for those marker boards, 100 meter board, break in a straight line and ease the car towards the apex, down from 180 miles an hour into second gear, 50 miles an hour for the turn two as well. Don't let the car snap on you too much on the exit of turn two itself and then wind the car around using DRS and a little curves boost as well up the hill towards turn four. 100 meter board, late braking into this one and don't use too much curb on the exit. That will really upset the balance of the car. Now towards turn five, 155 minimum speed between these two corners left and then right and watch that exit curb as well. Turn seven down through the gears, two gears down, the double apex right-hander of seven and eight. Open up the car now towards the right-hand side to maximize the entry in towards turn nine, a left-hand hairpin that goes uphill on the exit. Keep the car nice and straight and watch the rear from getting away from you through turn 10. In towards turn 11, open this corner up as much as you can. It's an off-camber corner and it can sometimes catch out the rear of the car. Flat out now through turn 12 and flick the car right towards probably one of the hardest corners in the entire season of Formula One, turn 14. Don't miss the apex on the inside, that's the thing you're aiming for. And now a nice rest before the final corner. Bring the car to the right-hand side, braking marker boards on the left-hand side. Don't lock up into this final corner. Very easy to do here, as it's off camber again on the exit. Not too much curb on that final corner and the run down towards the start finish straight once more. DRS again and a final burst of curves. And welcome to the second episode in my Schumacher career mode. Here today around Malaysia. Um, here's the starting group for you. A Hamilton starting pole with Alonso, Rosberg, Grosjean, Maldonado in fifth. Uh, Raikkonen, Vettel all the way down in seventh. And then ourselves in eighth. And Button in ninth. Weber tenth. And Kobayashi, Massa in twelfth. Uh, Perez, Hulkenberg, De Resta, Senna, Ricardo, And then Kovalainen, and Vern, Peak, Petrov, Glock, De La Rosa and Carter Kane at the back. So the usual people at the back, um, but uh, I hope you did all enjoy the first episode of this series, because um, I mean I certainly did. I know not a lot happened in it, which is unfortunate, but you can't really help that. But uh, there's a strategy then, uh, normal normal fuel strategy. So uh, without further ado, then let's get on with the second race of the season. Fire her up. Here we are then on the grid for the Malaysian Grand Prix. I forgot, I nearly forgot the name of the uh, the Grand Prix there. But we've got five red lights now. We've got three lights. It's four lights. It's five lights. It's lights out to where we go here for the Malaysian Grand Prix. We've got off to a, a decent start-ish. Uh, not so good compared to Vettel, but we've now got a button down our inside, I think. We've now got Weber down our outside. And I don't know what's going on there. We're going three wide into the first quarter. Maldonado's gone down the inside of Vettel and now Grosjean. Uh, Maldonado is on an absolute charge here and uh, we're now going to go around the outside of Sebastian Vettel into turn two, yes we are and now we're going to go down the inside of Alonso maybe, yes we are as well using a quick burst of curves and now we're going to go try and go up the inside of Grosjean and Maldonado maybe as well, yes we are going to go down the inside of Maldonado and we're up into the podium positions here behind Lewis Hamilton and our teammate leads the Grand Prix Nico Rosberg leads the Grand Prix so many thing, many good things could happen here. But uh, move on lap five. The uh, the top two just vanished, um, and Maldonado was relatively keeping me honest. I mean, there was a bit of a train forming behind me, but I think that was because of Maldonado, because they were all within a second of Maldonado, and Maldonado was like 
just over a second away from me. But coming into the pit lane, then putting on the prime tyres for the second stint. I have come in a lap earlier than they wanted me to, um, simply because I wanted to try and get the undercut on people as uh, Raikkonen gets the fastest lap of Grand Prix and Jensen Button all the way down to 17th. I don't know what's happened to him. I don't know if he's. I don't know if he's stopped yet. But that is just that's terrible from Jensen Button. Um, as we're now coming up to start lap seven of the Grand Prix, you can see Button has actually pitted, so Button is legitimately in 18th place. Uh, I don't know what's happened there. But coming out of the pit lane, then um, there's Maldonado on your right hand side, and we've managed to stay ahead of Maldonado just. Um, so that's good, and somehow Maldonado is still behind us, I've got no idea how, but Rosberg, I think, has been jumped by Hamilton, I don't know if Hamilton pitted that lap, but we're now going to come across the line, and we're now, yes, we're still up into third, and uh, Hamilton has in fact jumped our teammate, so Hamilton is now in the lead of the Grand Prix, and uh, he'll be looking to stretch that advantage, and as he already has at the start of this stint, I mean, it's just crazy how fast that McLaren can be. Um, so we're now just going to flick through the um, the start of the laps then. And uh, as you can see, we've built a sizable gap to Maldonado at the back. Um, we unfortunately can't catch our teammate. It's staying around 4.1, between 3.7 and 4.1 seconds. Um, as Hamilton just bangs in a fastest lap, because as you do. Um, but uh, we are pulling away from Maldonado quite substantially. As uh, Hamilton again sets another fastest lap of the Grand Prix. Uh, Hamilton's just banging out those fastest laps and uh, moving on to lap 13 the Grand Prix Hamilton again sets another fastest lap of the Grand Prix as uh, again the gap stays around 4.1 but we've got 5 second gaps from Hamilton right now and uh, going on to the final lap of the Grand Prix Hamilton again sets the fastest lap of the Grand Prix and uh, the gap to Rosberg is now 4.3 the gap to uh, Hamilton is 5 seconds but uh, unfortunately not much happened in the second stint because we're pulling away from Hamilton but Hamilton wins the second Grand Prix of the season I mean, commanding performance in the second half of the race as uh, we come across the line to get a 2 3 for Mercedes at their home Grand Prix. Final race classification then sees Lewis Hamilton win from Rosberg and myself. Uh, Maldonado gets an amazing fourth position. I've got no idea how he held off Vettel, Alonso, Raikkonen, and Weber, and Massa. Um, that's just crazy. And then uh, Roman Grosjean uh, rounds out the top ten. Obviously, not the greatest uh, race for him after finishing. I think it was second in Australia. Um, so he hasn't followed up Australia with the greatest of performances. Um, so that's pretty unfortunate for him. Uh, Sergio, Perez is fi Sergio Perez finishes 11th. And then Duresta, Kobayashi, Senna, Verne, Hulkenberg, Ricardo, and Jensen Button down in 18th. And then just the usual people after that. Um, but Jensen Button down in 18th. That's really, a really poor performance there from Button in this Grand Prix. Um, so moving on to the driver standings then. Uh, Hamilton has taken the lead of the standings with Rosberg going second, uh, overtaking both the Red Bulls. Uh, Maldonado moves up to 7th, so that's great from him, and Alonso moves up into the top 10. Uh, in the Constructors, Mercedes take the lead in the Constructors, but uh, that'll do for this episode, guys. Uh, hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.